In tree identification number 13, we're going to look at winged elm, hazel alder, black willow, eastern cottonwood, cucumber tree for the five trees in this set. So we'll start out with the winged elm. Winged elm is referred to as Ulmus alata. As you can see, we've studied and looked at some other elms, and this will be the last one. Um, but the leaves are roughly two inches long and one inch wide. They will be oblong as far as the leaf shape goes, and it'll taper both at the point of the leaf and at the base. Okay, The margins or the leaf edge are doubly toothed, so there are teeth on the teeth of these um, leaf edges or margins. And then, as you'll notice when you look at the stem here, there is corky wood, oftentimes found at the end of each twig, and a lot of the times it'll go all the way around the stem, that corky wood. Now, not all the stems will have it, but that will be a very distinguishing feature. Um, if you'll look at the whole tree, you'll be able to see that. So corky wood comes out all the way around. This is the winged elm, almost a lot of. Up next, we have the hazel alder, Ulnus cerulata, as you can see here, some of the features we're going to look at. Just as a whole, you can see that it has these seed-like or small seed cones, but it also has these stem-like catkins. Okay, The catkins are the male portion of the tree, as you can see those. And you see these, that's the male portion of the tree, whereas these small seed cones are the female portion of the tree. Okay, when we look at the leaf itself, the hazel alder has leaves that are two to four and a half inches long and two inches wide. Um, they're going to be finely sawtoothed right there on the margins. And then when you're looking at the veins, you can see these parallel veins, 9 to 12 parallel veins on each side that will help you denote the hazel alder. When you see this fruit, that should really help you as well. Okay, You can see this hasn't quite dried out and opened up like this older fruit, um, but that is the fruiting body of the hazel alder, Ulnus cerulata. Up next, we will look at the black willow. Black willow is Salix nigra. Okay. As you can see, this leaf is going to be roughly three to six inches long and very narrow with a very pointed tip. Okay. Finely serrated edge, and that is a very distinct characteristic that we will see in a second. Um, when you look at the tree as a whole, it's going to be oftentimes branching to several trunks near the ground, and it's going to have an irregular crown or crown shape. Now, so let's look at this leaf. As some of you are probably thinking, okay, there's the black willow, and there is the willow oak like I have right here. When you take and look at an individual leaf of these two and compare them, you will notice the black willow right here has that finely serrated leaf edge or leaf margin, whereas the willow oak is smooth or also known as entire as far as tree terminology goes. Okay. Fourth, we have eastern cottonwood, Populus deltoides, as you can see right here. Um, this is a good looking leaf. The leaves are somewhat triangular in shape, so you can see that triangular shape on the eastern cottonwood. Roughly three to five inches in length here. Um, and they're going to have these broad running teeth along the margins. Okay. Um, another distinct feature, if you can see it here, is this petiole that connects the leaf to this stem 
the petiole is flat on the eastern cottonwood. Okay, so pretty distinct. When you're looking at the stem of it, you can see that you've got really large buds on this twig near the end of the growing season especially. Um, so those large buds also denote eastern cottonwood. Okay, Populus deltoides. Lastly, we want to look at the cucumber tree. As you can see, um, the leaves can vary, but fairly large leaves on the cu cucumber tree, known as magnolia acuminata. Okay, leaves are some five to ten inches long and three to six inches wide. The leaf shape itself is ovate short and it's got a pointed tip. It's going to be green and hairless above. So, and then when you flip it over, it's going to be pale and soft with very soft hairs on the underside of this leaf. When you look at the fruit, it's going to look like a burr that is cone-like. Um, it is green, but then turns dark red um, and darker in the summer. It's a cucumber-like shape, so Hence, that's how it gets its name, the cucumber tree, Magnolia acuminata. And yes, it is in the Magnolia family. Okay, so let's review these trees. We had up first with that corky bark and that doubly serrated leaf margin, wing down, Ulmus alata. Up next, looking at this tree specimen, you saw those catkins, and you've got these seed cones. You've got very finely serrated margins there. The hazel alder. Then we saw this tree, a very narrow leaf. long and pointed, not to be confused with the willow oak. This is the black willow, Salix nigra. Then we had this tree specimen. You can see that it has that triangular shape, that pointed tip, flat petiole, eastern cottonwood, Populus deltoides. Lastly, we saw this tree, okay, we had that oblong leaf shape, or excuse me, ovate, cucumber tree. And that's it for tree identification number 13.